Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. It's not a sad Saturday. It's a happy Saturday. Today I got a whole bunch of stuff I want to show you. I'm going to take a little bit of time. Uh, it's going to be probably longer than 10 minutes, but I want you to stick with me because towards the end, there's going to be some awesome sightings. Uh, we're at Stalden, uh, Switzerland. Sunrise 734, sunset 1651, and we're starting at uh, not, uh, 1026, so October 26. Okay, let's go up here, see what we got. Get this right, guys. Got to get it right for you. I want you to see this. Pretty amazing. Okay, so we start out early in the morning here. Well, this is actually late at night, and I'm going to just scroll back to the early morning of 1026. And I'm going to take my time and go through this. A lot of you guys have been asking me to narrate stuff and to point stuff out. Absolutely. Okay, and we're going to go to 1026. These cameras are uh, notorious for blinking and updating. All right, there we go. Okay, 1840 would be about 640 at night. I'm going to take this backwards. Just look at the pink, look at the chemtrails. I'm going to point out a lot of stuff on here. Okay, so how are you guys doing on Saturday? Um, I've been asked by somebody, you know, I'd probably get more uh, sign-ups if I wouldn't talk about Jesus. But a lot of you guys know it's all about Jesus for me. Okay, 1026, 2017, 730 in the morning, stalled in. As you could see, we talked about this before on the other films. You got that mark, then you got this reflection down here. Okay, and I've been following this site since June 15th, something like that. <clears throat> but I've always thought there was more involved in this, so I'm going to show you. So right now you're looking at uh, 740, and you can look on the right there, you'll see the timer. I'm just clicking it with my pinky, basically. See the pink indication? I want to point out the pink and the and that green, that till kind of green. Okay, so just watch as we go through the day. Sun comes up at 7:30. It's already 8:50. It doesn't look like the sun's come up yet. Um, but this shot right here, guys, this shot freaked me out. Let me do a little scribbling, give you some heads ups. Um, anyways, I don't really care too much about the trolls I've been encountering, so. But um, if you guys will look at this, I just seen this and thought, you know, is that something? Check that out. Do you see it? Now watch. You see that circle? I think there's more in these skies than that pink spot with that reflection. Anyways, <clears throat> submit your comment about that, but there's a lot more to look at. And I'm going to try to not not mess up the where I'm at we're at 1026 stalled in. I think that's something right I think that is absolutely something and then the next picture you see that white spot I think that's something but you know I, I, people say oh, it's just clouds well the sun's supposed to be up at 730 and it's 920 Okay, so we just crawl out along. I'm not saying anything for sure. I'm just saying what I think. I'm just saying. There it is again. I think that's something in the sky. Watch as we go along here, guys. I'm going to point out some things. At, uh, so we've got 9, 10, 16, 20. So that if there's nothing in these skies 10,000 feet up approximately, why are they chemtrailing the heck out of the Swiss mountains? Okay, and I think I have some clues here. I've already gone through five minutes, guys, and I haven't even got to the thing yet. Oh, watch right up there in the left-hand corner. See that popping out on the bottom there? See it popping out right there? Right there, guys. I 
think that's pretty amazing. Let's keep watching. This is going to be uh, either a four-parter or more. Okay, so the sun, it's about 5 o'clock in the afternoon, seems to be going down, right? Right here, we got something. These are flares. Call them what they are, they're flares. Okay, but that, I don't believe is a flare. Now watch as I go. <coughs> go back you see how it shines on that what looks like a planet and we know those other things are flares and this right here I believe it's something check it out now watch when I go forward see right there okay remember right along see a little bit of a pinkish rainbow also, right here is something. Check that out. I'm not saying there, you know, I, I could just be, you know, hypersensitive about this now. But anyways, and then I want you to check out this. Okay. I'm going to go backwards a second. There you go. I think that's something. I think there's so much in this area that it takes some real study and research to find everything. Here you go. Sun's going down at 650. Sun's going down. Sun's going down. Sun's going down. 650. Now look at all this pink. See the pink over there? I see the pink up here. Okay. Keep an eye. Okay, I'm going to go to the next spot. We'll be 27. 1027. Look up here. 1027. Okay, what are we going to get here? So we're at Stalden. 1027. According to my notes, I'm going to take you to the morning hour. Some things happening here between 7.30 and 7.40. Okay, I want to establish that this is the site where we see this little red, big red, and then reflection, reflection, and sometimes you'll see reflection, 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 different places, but it's two reflections usually. Just point that out. I want to establish that that, that sighting, that footage right there is real. I've been tracking that for at least five months. <clears throat> okay, and so we're at uh, 7.30, and I'm going to start scrolling down. There it is again. Let's do something here. Let's play around. We'll take some time, right? We'll put it right between these two planets. See that? Right between those two planets. Okay. Now, this, it's a marker. Let's see what's happening in the skies here. According to my notes, at 920, we got something happening here. 920. Right there. Right there. You see that spot? Right there. Now, I don't think that's just a cloud. I think that's... Because I tracked one of those on my other videos. I have three videos on this location, and I've tracked that a few times. So, we still got that mark tracked on there. These are the purplish clouds. They're kind of dark. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. What's all this light, 10 o'clock in the morning? You know, the sun came up, but where is it at? It came and it went down at like 6 o'clock, but where is it at? Behind the clouds? Okay, so let's say that's our sun. Let's get rid of that. I'll put that back in the same spot. Let's say that's our sun. Pretty bright. What's that? That our sun too? Okay, I'm going to keep showing you stuff. More sun pictures, more sun. Anyways, pretty amazing. Then you just got a cloudy day, kind of hiding everything. So there we go. <coughs> 7.30, 10.27.
We started with those pink spots. We got this in the sky going on. Got that in the sky going on. And got that. But right there, right there, two sightings right there. And then possible other ones. So I'm going to go to 1028. Try to move along a little quicker here. Kind of slow this morning, guys. Got too much sleep. Okay, 1028. I'm going to go to 14. I'm going to go ahead and take it all the way to the top. Anyway, so you guys having a good Saturday. Don't let all this Nibiru stuff get you all out of sorts. Okay? Because uh, I believe it's not going to be as bad yet as they say it is. Okay, and I'm going to uh, 8.30. 8.30 in the morning, 10.28, it's Dalton. Look at that green sky. Remember these green skies. You know, the sun's coming up at around 7.30, 7.40. Now you start seeing the pink. It's beautiful skies, beautiful skies. Just looking for any clue. Now, see these pink clouds? I mean, where did they just come out of nowhere? Anyways, some of you guys got different belief systems out there. I just want to point out this for those who are the Hoffman guys. I don't know if I believe that, but that could be true. He's saying that the planets are here, and they're huge, and they're not as crazy as they, we think they're going to be. But anyways, that's for another show. So we're at 9 o'clock, pink skies, 9 o'clock in the morning, pink fog. Where did all this fog come out? And then where did all that light come from? Right there. Okay. There. Okay, I thought the sun came up at 7-something on the other side. So what is illuminating this? What is illuminating that, guys? Crazy, isn't it? Okay. Told you this is going to be a long one, guys. <coughs> Let's keep going. I've been listening to some of uh, Hoffman's teachings on this. I don't agree with everything, but I do see a lot of what he's saying, and it's making me think. I actually had a dream last night about some of that weirdness. Um, right here, let me see, 1028, 1325. Let's go down to 1325. You guys can go up here. There's a lot to be found. Okay, 1325. 1028. I'm there. Right around here is something. Again, if we were to believe in this, this theory of what Hoffman talks about, this would actually be like Nemesis or the other planet, um, I can't really, but look at the difference in the sky color. So he might have something legitimate going on with that. Um, he said he didn't believe it for a long time. But right here, check out this. I think that's something, and I think maybe that's something. But, you know, you got to really look at it, analyze it, check it out. Okay, we're going to move right along with 1325, and it gets better as we go. Shots get crazier. There's some stuff covering that spot. Um, there's a lot going on in these pictures. I've been I've been watching them again. Here's this theory with Hoffman. It looks like a different color. It looks circular. It looks like it's a planet coming in. And then over here. I hope I'm doing this justice, Hoffman. You might have a planet that's behind it. But, you know, like I said, that's for another show. But it looks convincing what he's talking about. Okay, we're at 1425 and moving on. Right here. Got something right there. It could be that pink spot, maybe. Let's just keep going. Okay, guys. I believe there's something here, but they start chemtrailing real heavy. I believe there's something back here. Okay. You just keep watching. And then here comes that green till we talked about. Now, this is getting later. It's 5.05 in the afternoon. It's 
guys just chemtrailed to death here. And you guys can go slow enough, you'll be able to see some stuff pop out. I'm not going to point it all out, but most of it I am. Now it's 7.15. 5.15 at night. Sun's going down. There he goes, your sun. Now what's that? Maybe the sun. What's that? Maybe the sun. That I don't believe is the sun. Just because it's too bright. And it's 8.15 right now. And then where does the orange come from, guys? That's definitely a color of the, of the nemesis system coming through. That's not just a sunset, because the sunset's been down for like an hour and a half. And it's pretty crazy, huh? Okay, next next level we're going to go to, next location, same location. We're going to go to 2, uh, 11, 2. And what I'm going to do is just give you guys the full, the full thing. Okay, 11, 2. We've got some nice purple in the sky, purple clouds. Orange clouds with some yellow. Okay. Um, we got some pink. And let's say it's 5.05. So sun's going down about. Okay. See that right there? What is that? I don't know. Just pointing it out. I'm just saying. I'm going backwards now. It's uh, 4.45 in the afternoon. Now, if the sun's going down on the one location, what's going down in the other location? Just, just saying, something else is going down. And then, where is the light from above coming? There's light here. See, I've done some research on this site, and there's a whole lot more. There's the sun going down. There's the sun going back up. We're going backwards. And there's what I believe I saw earlier. The pink. I think the pink shadow is that right there. Keep going. I believe that is one of the moons that we've seen earlier over here. No, I think we've seen it out here too. Okay. I hope this show ain't boring you guys. Um giving this my all. This is going to be a, a long show. But I really want you to see what I'm seeing. Now we got activity here. And we got some activity here. That's not normal sun. Okay, so you see those two. We're still going backwards. Uh, 1355, that's it right there. I believe those are planets. A part of the planetary system, um, and then 6:40 in the morning. So, let's get there. This is so much to show on these. All the chemtrails are just trying to cover up everything. Okay, everything. They don't want us to see any of this. What is that, guys? It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Is that the sun? Anyways, a shout out to Hoffman. Some of the stuff I learned last night was amazing. Gave me different eyeballs by morning. Um, like I say, I don't know how much of it I believe, but it's making me see things a little bit different. You know, well, there's your till green. Till green. Till green. Why is the sky till green? There you go. The early morning uh, planetary, pink planetary system coming up with something underneath it. Okay, the next one we're going to is 311 guys 311 ready 311 all right 311 and let's go all the way to the morning Six forty, guys 640 let's see what they got now I hate when I move it off a little bit I gotta realign it the way I like to do my films are not a bunch of clutter. I mean, to me, this is clutter. Okay, here we go. Well, you got your early morning shot, which I'd like to see this shot at nighttime. On my last film, like I said, the last, the, the last 
movie I did, I got a I got a nice shot of this, and it was absolutely white bright, not pink. And it had a tail, and it had that little planet. It was white bright with a white tail going like here. And these spots down here were actually white. And this was a, a nighttime shot. I think they forgot to take off because you could, I know you could see this. I've seen people camp in this location. And um, now here come some pink clouds. Yeah, they sit, they set their tents up like here, 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 all summer. And I know the kids are out there watching this stuff at night going, they know about it. Their, their government's telling them. They're building tunnels for them. Okay, purple, purple. I like the purple and I like the green. And so uh, we're on 311. And I'm rambling away. 640. You've seen that. Um, just pay attention to that green as we go through the day. <clears throat> Anyways, you guys are having a good weekend. I should be out fishing, not hunting for Nibiru, but this is actually more exciting than fishing in this area. I used to fish, had an addiction on fishing. Okay, watch it blow out right there, guys. Watch it right here. It's actually more like this. I like my drawing. Pretty messy, isn't it? Okay, we're at 1340. Let's get down to 14. Let's get down to 1440. Okay, I hope you can hear me good. Anyways. Yeah, I'm trying to make this film long. Going back. And you can see it if you're watching. And if you know what you're watching for. Okay, so your sun's going down, it's 1550, five, uh, 410, sun's going down at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, see the green, the green around the sun going down, which is reflecting, I believe, a planet, that's my opinion, it's a planet, okay, and then your night comes in, okay, take it to the next shot, guys. It gets better. It gets better. 411. Let's go to 411. Okay. 411. I'm going to take you to um, 640 in the morning. That's what the book says. Okay. There's your shot. Now, you don't get a lot up here, but if you notice the pink right in this area, I believe it's the planet just, the energy of the planet just going right through the clouds. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start scrolling down. 411, stalled in. Next stop, 740. There's your teal green, there's your pink clouds, evidence. Um, don't I hate when it does that? It just reset itself, so be patient with me. Anyways. The big question is, have you found Jesus yet? I'm not going to do this all day, guys, but have you found Jesus yet? That's the big question. 411, where are you? There you go. Take it to about where it was. 8, 9 o'clock, right there. Look at them starting to chemtrail. Chemtrail, chemtrail, go away. Come back some other day. So, this one, you get a lot of chemtrails. 11.20, let's see what 11.20 was. Anyways, check it out. 13.10. Just blowing out the side. A lot of activity in these guys. See right there, blowing out, blowing out. Chemtrail like crazy, trying to cover it as fast as it's going up and down. Okay, sun's starting to go down. It's 210. 
sun's covering everything's getting covered up right now let me go back to 1350 see what I see oh this is where I want to, I want to pull out this thing about the Hoffman effect he's saying the bureau's like the bureau is really here it's big it's huge but right there there's a distinction distinction right there check it out I'm starting to notice that now seeing how is that line how is that line so perfect guys come on I can't even draw that perfect okay just want to bring that out and this is on 411 1350 it's 150 in the afternoon okay you got your sun moving through the sky slowly it's supposed to be going down at about four or five o'clock it's about three four o'clock Check it out, check it out. Okay, here the sky goes really blue. Something's going on here. He's got till green. Pay attention to this till green. So I believe this till green has to do something with the planet. I don't think it's just green clouds. Okay, let's go to the next location. Which is 511. I'm pretty much... 511. Okay, we're at 511, guys. Now, I'm going to take this one backwards. And you know, okay, it's just a snowy day. But look at the light. Now, let's say that's the sun. Well, we know the sun goes down right around here. Right, right, right. So... Let's just keep going. Check it out. And I've seen people having troll wars uh, out there. And someone have some personal issues with each other. Remember, guys, in this community, I was told it's about waking people up, not about who's got the best pictures. I mean, anybody could take my pictures, my videos. You can go out there, and if you want to make click bang out of them, hey, you have to answer the living God. Now, right here, guys, I think that's something and I think I know that's something because you'll see later on in another another video I mean another section of this okay so I, th I think those two are systems part of the system going through part of the system look at that now come on guys look at that look at that I think that is something passing through. And I think these things move pretty quick. This could be this. And this ain't the sun coming up right here. Sun comes up at 7.30. This is 7.40. And the sun comes up over here. Okay. Just saying. Check it out. Just saying. I'm going to leave it there for a second. Because that's so cool looking. Just pay attention to that. And look at that. I think that's something right there. I think it's one of the moons going through. I think actually this could be a planet. It could be something over here circling through that was just covered up. And this could be a little moon. But it's up to you to believe it. It's my opinion. I'm not a scientist. I'm a believer of Jesus Christ and him crucified. He came in the flesh and died on the cross for me. That's one thing I do know, that everything Jesus has told me is true. I've been delivered from massive amounts of drugs back in the 80s. It's 31 years later, I'm still delivered. And a lot of you out there sitting on drug addictions, put in the comment, pray for me, I'm addicted to everything, and I will pray for you right there on the comment, guys. So what I'm doing is I'm doing 10-minute segments. I don't know if I'm going to do part one, part two. I think I'm going to make one long film. The purple skies. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, you didn't miss nothing. I went from um, 511 to 711. Yeah, I like 711. They got good slurpees. Anyways, check this out. Uh, 711, 645. That's all I have in my notes. Let's see what happens. There you go. There's your uh, pink reflections. Very nice pink. on back uh, Background of blue. I love it. I love color. And I'm at 
11, 7, 17, 645, something's going on. Just that, the pink. And I watched the whole day, it's just snowy, snowy, snowy. Winter, winter, winter. Okay, we're going to the next one. Next stop's going to be 1111. Oh, you guys like that number, huh? 1111. Come 7, come 11. Okay, that's a nighttime shot at, at um, 520 in the evening. Of course, it's pretty bad weather there. Move, we'll take it backwards. First stop is going to be 735, I believe. Let's go check it out. 735. Oh, I'm sorry. 17. 17, 20. That was your first stop. Next stop is going to be... What am I? 11, 11. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. 17, 20. Okay, that was your, your pink lights. And I'm on 11, 11. 6.50 is your next stop. So it's established that, you know, we got that planet with the pink in it, Nemesis or whatever your, the name of it is, and there it is in the morning. I just wanted to establish. See, there's no reflection today, but you got the little planet right there, and you got the big planet right there, or the moons. So anyways, okay, let's go to 13, no, 12.11. These get actually better as we get into more November. Okay, let's get rid of my dots. There's so much light from this planet. There's the reflection. Got the snow and the water, because it's snowing there, right there. It's all reflecting. That it's reflecting. That's reflecting. Here. This is all reflections from that planet. That's actually the reflection on the ground. Reflections on the glass. Reflections on the glass. See guys, those, those are reflections. And why are they reflecting pink? Because this thing is pink. See, you've seen it here. Perfect reflections. You guys are always looking and commenting on reflections, so I wanted to comment on reflections too. Look at that. Okay, we're at 1211. 1211, 1211. And I'm going to go to 1545. 1545. Okay, so what I was thinking is, why is there light? Why is there light? Sun went down already. Or usually it's already down by now. Okay, so we're going to keep climbing a ladder here. At 12, 11. 11, uh, 11, 12. 17. 15, 25. Let's check that out. Okay, there's more activity. I think this right here is something. You know, I'm just submitting this to you guys for your consideration. I'm not saying that I'm a rocket scientist and this is absolute truth. I'm just saying what my eyeballs are showing me as I learn more about the system. I'm understanding how it moves around more. Okay, now that's uh, 12.55 in the afternoon. See that white light on the right? That's not right. Shouldn't be nothing going down. There's a lot of water spots on this one. So I'm staying away from anything that looks like a water spot. Right there, they just kind of pound the clouds in. Some are chemtrails, some are not. Nine twenty-five in the morning, I found something. Yeah, look at this, guys. You see that? So I believe they cloak this stuff behind these clouds really good. Anyway, it's just uh, submitting that to you. I'm just saying that could be something. I'm just trying to get your Nibiru minds working this morning in the right positive direction. Um, 925 and then 650. So this is a very snowy, wet day. There's some sun finally breaking through. 650, 650. Where you at? There you go. I'm just going to show it to you a couple times. There you go. Okay, next stop. Same place, same location. But it's a uh, twelve thirteen. I mean eleven thirteen. There you go. Okay, at night you see your spot. Okay, and then at six fifteen, sixteen fifteen, you get some other activity. Look at 
this, guys. Stuff going on behind those clouds. There you go. There's the morning. Morning view. Okay. We're going to go to 1411. Purple sky. Purple sky is at night. It's uh, 5.15. Just going to take it back out. 15.11. 14.11. 15 Look at the pink skies. Look how this cuts off right there. Isn't that weird? Anyways, I'm just searching like you are. Searching for the truth. You shall find the truth, and the truth will make you free. Any truth will make you free of the lie. <clears throat> so we've been lied to a lot. And uh, we're all finding out for ourselves that you can't believe everything the government tells you. I know they want us to believe everything they tell us. But we don't believe everything they tell us. You know? Look at that right there, guys. And I want to. What I want to show you on this one. Look at, under. Look at right here. See how it changes this color of the sky. According to. According to my brother that I watched last night, that could actually be a planet coming through. You you look at it. It looks perfect circle. The color blue is different. It seems to be in front of the clouds. Um, but do these systems make their own clouds when they get in contact with another planet like ours? I don't know. Something to consider. And the next stop will be 655. So, again, a lot of activities. This place is a gold mine. I'm just seeing if I can see that planet blow out of there. Not really. Not yet. But you will. See, so a lot of activities early in the morning. It's a beautiful location. I love it with the snow. Look at the pink clouds. Okay, sun's coming up, so that's probably where the pink clouds came from. And there you go. Faithful pink star in the sky, whatever it is. Next spot we're going to is 1511. All right. I hope you guys are getting something out of this. I'm not just talking to myself. Um, 17. Okay. Just going to go, oh, here we go, reset, sorry, sorry, sorry. You know, computer does what it wants sometimes. And we're on 1511, right? So, other than looking for Nibiru, what do you people do out there? Go to work, come home, look for Nibiru? I'm kind of retired, I broke my back twice, and kind of decided I'm not going to break my back again. And, uh, and I'm not. Okay, we're at 1511. So, I have more time than I know what to do with. Look at the chemtrails already starting at night. This is at night. I'm going backwards. Okay, watch your spots on here. I pointed them out. I want to show you something. Like right here. If you watch right there, okay? Take it slow. And you watch this planet. And you're going to see this more clear in the shots to come. You see how it kind of shines on something? Okay. I thought about those two up there, boom, and boom, being something, but I don't know if they're flares or if they're actually planets stacked up a little bit. We'll keep going. This one, almost done. Isn't that beautiful blue? I wish we had blue skies like that again. And there you go, coming right back into the morning with your pink side. There it is, pink star. All right, so I jumped it up to 11.16. We're going to start from the evening, backtrack again. 11.16. So the pink, it's 5.10 in, in the evening. And we know the sun went down pretty soon. So, the sun went down. We're looking at all kinds of activity here. A little bit of pink in there. 
more pink on the edges. So watch it as we move away. It's getting later, early and early in the day. Right there is about 2.40 in the afternoon. Okay. Sun's going up and out. So it was interesting. They did a diamond to the chemtrails. Why'd they put a pyramid there? Were they outlining where to spray and get it filled in? I think so. <laughs> I don't know. I just think that, look, it's a triangle, guys. Why are they putting a triangle in the sky? See, I show you signs in the skies. So, I don't care if they're planets or just signs, but right here, I don't think that's our sun right there. I don't think that's our sun at all. I believe it's what that pink thing is in the morning. I believe it moves around a little bit. And there you go. There's your tip of your triangle again. Kind of strange, that triangle, in it? Okay, I'm at 11.16. I'm almost done with this film. And then I'll put it together and send it to you guys with love. Because it's all about Jesus. It's all about love. You know, I'm not trying to start no cult or anything. The Bureau Christian cult. No, no, no. I'm here simply because I had a vision 31 years ago. Didn't know it until the Lord woke me up one morning and said, Remember the, the asteroid, Wormwood? And I said, no. And he said, well, that's what it was. And he reminded me, showed me the vision again. I said, go find it and show the people. And he said, tell them not to be afraid. Do not be afraid of what's coming. That's what he told me to tell you. Don't be afraid, guys. Okay, we're at 1611. I'm going to pop it up to 1711. See, there's a lot of stuff in these clouds. So if one had time, let me go check it out. And I'm going to start at a... Uh, I'm going to start from the bottom again. And there's your pink. It's uh, 5, 5, 5 10 in the afternoon. Sun's probably going down. Look at this orange, guys. Sun's going down. you got all this orange. All that orange. All that orange right there. And you got different things happening here. Just go do it. And there's that effect again. I can't get away from this because I'm starting to see it everywhere. Uh, Hoffman was talking about how these things are so huge. They're here, and the lie cover-up has been keeping it from us. I see the difference in the color. I've seen this on this site a bunch of times, but on the other sites I've seen it. Okay, so I won't get caught up in that as for another show, but I'm going to keep your minds jumping here. 1711. There's a chemtrails, chemtrails, chemtrails. Okay, that's a lot of chemtrails, guys. Okay, let's see those. This is pretty cool looking chemtrails. That looks like the sun got wings. Anyways, check this out. Right here. Watch right there, guys. You'll see the sun pull away from it. I don't know if anybody can see this other one over here. It's real faint. It's real faint. I'll take away my yellow. You'll see it. They get a little bit darker. Now watch how the sun. See right there? Look at the stripes right there. See this stripe right there? It's round. Okay. It's interesting. I don't think I'm making it up. Sometimes I feel like I'm making it up, but I see it. Now watch right back here, guys. Right there, okay? As I move back and forth. You can see the sun actually illuminate it. See right there on top? Now watch the one on the bottom. See how it pulls, the sun pulls away and has a couple stripes. Okay, and there's a couple things up there we talked about earlier right above the sun. It's crazy stuff. My kids think I've lost my mind. I don't. I think I found my mind. I believe the Lord told me to do this, so there's no doubt in my mind. He believes in it, and so do I. See the pink there in the left corner? 
Okay, we got one more day. All right, there you go. Early morning, you get your pink star. Like I said, I'm going to find someone that lives up in these Swiss mountains, and I'm going to have them send me pictures at nighttime. Okay, last stop. Last but least, 18th. Sun going down. Boom. And that is today. And I'm just going to take it from the bottom. Beautiful pink and yellow sun set at 5 o'clock at night. About right. 5 o'clock. Oh, look at the chemtrails. They just threw all the chemtrails everywhere. Check that out. I'm going to finish the video off on this location. But if there's nothing up here, why are there so many chemtrails? Mm -hmm. I think that right there is something, guys. Just going to mark it and leave it. Right there is something. I just put it right in the middle of it. But I'm not going to leave that one. Interesting, isn't it? Right there. Well, I think there's something there, and I know there's something there. Now watch. See that sun shining on that planet? I'm getting all crazy now. Usually something happens where I mess my board up and end up messing up the film and have to retake it. See right there? See how it's lighting that up? I think that's on our side of the sun. I think the one on the right of that is something. I can't prove this, but out of all these sun flares, this one, it actually stays mobile, I mean, uh, stable at one point. I just didn't point it out. I've showed you quite a bit of that stuff. But look how that planet just right there just kind of leeches all over the place. Anyways, hope you guys are having a good afternoon. Don't spend your whole day doing this like I do. And there you go. Something else right there. Something else. It's crazy. Well, this has been Chris Bernal talking to you for like 30 minutes, which is very rare. I just want to say God bless and have a great night. Great afternoon. Do something with your family tomorrow. Don't look at Nibiru. Look at the people up here. Don't you wish you were up there playing snow patty cakes and snow tobogganing and four-wheeling and all skidooing and jet skiing on the snow? Look at that. This place is beautiful. And the morning, no red spot. That was the big surprise, guy. Guys and ladies and gentlemen. All right. You guys subscribe to my channel right now if you haven't. I asked you to click the red uh, the little bell for notification. If you got pictures, send them to Nibiru Watching 2017 at gmail.com. Nibiru Watching 2017, all one word, at gmail.com. This is Chris Benal signing off for now. You guys have a great Saturday afternoon. Uh, don't drink too many beers watching the football games and UFC. Just hang out with the family. And enjoy the time you have before this craziness all begins. And remember, if you don't have Jesus, you don't have nothing. You can have all the knowledge you want about this, but if you don't have Jesus, you don't have anything. You know nothing. All right. God bless and talk to you tomorrow or talk to you later this evening.